All right, so I saw some comments on some of my videos that said, hey, Hess, you got to try out Under Armour. You've been sleeping on them for a while. So I went over to Hibbit Sports site, looked through all the Under Armour sneakers, and then saw these that really caught my eye. So shout out to Hibbit Sports for sending this pair over for the video. But we have a pair of the craziest sneaker boots that I have seen. Now, look at these and you go, wait, whoa, whoa, those are those are weird hats. Like, why, why are you doing that? Hold on one second. Check this out. Now tell me this isn't a crazy shoe. It has a removable cuff for the upper and the midsole is insanely huge. And if there was a bike tire that was gonna be made into a sneaker boot, this would be the one right here. So let's go ahead and get in this video on the UA Hover Summit Fat Tire. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hope you're having a good day out there. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Big shout out to Hibbit City Gear for sending this pair over. If you guys haven't heard of Hibbit or haven't used their website or app yet, link in the description, you go check it out. They have a really nice release calendar that they have a bunch of different stuff coming out. But if you just look through their regular site, you can see some really cool sneakers like these that I just randomly found browsing through their site. This is a very interesting shoe. It's not new. It's been out for over a year from what I gather. And it's one of those shoes that had drawn a lot of attention originally, but then kind of went away. It sounds like they had some supply issues with the product, but they have a couple different colorways available over at Hibbit, and I'll link them again in the description. This is a fat tire though. It's also known as the Hover Summit. Hover being the midsole technology that they have, which I did do a review on Under Armour Hover back in the day, but I haven't tried it in years. And they put a big old fat stack of a Hover in here. But then you look at this midsole and you have these crazy, crazy little radial like dots everywhere uh, for traction and it does say michelin down here so michelin rubber traction tire traction from what i understand this shoe is actually inspired after a bike tire which makes sense of why they call it the fat tire because it is a big old fatty and i could see people running trails and stuff like this but i also think that this is like a nice like urban trail sneaker if you will like i like the aesthetics of the shoe it's one that i could see people probably styling casually as well as somebody that actually uses it functionally for the trail. Now I gotta be honest, when I pulled these out of the box, the first time I did not know they came with this cuff. I was like, whoa, is this what I ordered? Like, I don't remember seeing that. So the stock images I saw this with the low top version, but then I got this with the cuff on it. And honestly, the, the cuff is something that I personally wouldn't be wearing on these sneakers. I like that you can actually zip it off and then have it turn into a low top. Unless you're gonna do some really crazy trails, this is obviously really good for the ankle support, but I don't need that for what I'm gonna be wearing these for. Before we get in too deep, I wanna give you guys some words from what I see on Hibbit's site. It says the Under Armour Hover Summit Fat Tire Black Gray Colorway here. $170 for this original model right here, for those wondering. And I say original model because it looks like nothing else that I've ever seen. The product details say that these are built to go anywhere, packed with tech development for running and outdoors. The UA Hover Cushioning from our fastest running shoes, a Michelin bottom inspired by mountain bike tire, and strategic overlays for stability. UA Hover technology provides zero gravity feel to maintain energy return and help eliminate impact. Compression mesh energy web contains a molded UA Hover foam to give back energy you put in. Lightweight and breathable synthetic textile upper, bungee lace system for all around lock-in fit, open hole tongue construction for added ventilation, and then the Michelin outsole compound uses unique traction lugs to deliver unmatched grip on any terrain. Has an eight mm offset and weighs about 11.2 ounces. So I gotta say thank you to you guys that left a comment saying, Hess, try Under Armour shoes because of you guys I reached out to Hibbit and I got the shoes right here. So thank you guys for leaving those comments. And if I don't reply back to your comment, just feel free to leave another one. I apologize if I don't get back to all the comments. It can be difficult, obviously, with all of the different stuff that I'm trying to do out there. But any which way, this shoe is pretty incredible. It's easy to get on, first of all. I like the tongue structure. It's kind of thin and it's connected down at the base, but it definitely is stretchy You can kind of pull it up. I do like that the tongue is kind of knit and then you have like that textile upper, whatever it says, uh, for most of the upper of the shoe. First of all, the design of the shoe is crazy. You have three sets of laces, more or less, on this upper of the shoe, but none in the traditional sense, which is something that I absolutely love. It's like using something uh, that we know about sneakers, the shoelaces, and then integrating it in a way that's so clever. So first you have a set, uh, like three little rainbows down here of laces, and this is kind of like the Nike Flywire approach, but it's a thick boy lace right down here, round uh, rope lace. So the bottom one is attached here, but then on the top one, you have a white lace that circles all the way back and around uh, the shoe and then geniusly you actually take the regular laces and it integrates through the top of the second lace and then you don't actually have a lace to tie because it's kind of like a bungee cord here uh, to lock down the shoe with a little pull system here 
uh, to, to tighten it down. And the more you look at the shoe and the design element that they did with that, I'm like just blown away on how cool it is. You also have functional pull tabs, one in the heel, one in the tongue. I like that the tongue has an oversized loop in the front too. It's very helpful to getting the shoe on. You have some fused material around the shoe where they're two different types of materials meet. And then around the collar of the shoe, you do see the zipper. Now I was kind of worried about this with the placement of the zipper just right above the ankle, thinking that it would just rub on my ankle and like, you know, raw dog your ankle right here, but it actually didn't happen at all. There's enough knit protection around your ankle that you don't feel the zipper at all. But obviously again, just a great design uh, the way they integrated everything together. To prevent heel slippage, you do have a nice padded collar around the bottom of the base of the ankle. This is actually pretty rad too. It says Under Armour Footwear Division S More MD and then PDX Organs. So I know there's an Under Armour office in Oregon. I should have reached out to the people over there to have them send me these because these are just crazy, man. I really love what they did. Now getting to the midsole, and the outsole, this is where the shoe shines even brighter than the upper, which again, I just think is genius. The midsole has the hover technology, but it's such an interesting technology because it's like a molded uh, foam midsole or whatever the material is, it's like their proprietary hover foam. But then there's actually a mesh material that's actually embedded inside of the midsole. I don't know what it is about sneakers, but it's fun to be able to grab a new pair, especially with the technology involved, and squish the midsole with my hand. It's such a cool feeling to be able to do this and like feel some give. So it's been fun to be able to see the evolution of how soft and squishy some of these things can get, but also maintaining functionality, which this thing delivers, man. So you step around in these, I wore these out and about, stepping over bark dust at the playground and stuff with my daughter. And the midsole is thick enough that it absorbs the impact of like bark dust and bark chips, like giant bark chips. When I'm stepping over them, I didn't really feel anything underfoot. Uh, but speaking of underfoot, you have the Michelin rubber, which has these crazy lugs uh, on the bottom. So you definitely have that bike tire traction feel underneath. Very good traction from the most part from what I could tell uh, on these things. But again, I didn't do like a crazy like test or anything. But uh, but overall, very impressed with the traction, midsole comfort, style and design. I mean, honestly, these things are a beast, especially from like somebody that wants like an outdoor feel. And the fact that you have a collar, honestly, I'm not going to use a collar. But for those people that actually use it functionally, I could see again why it would be helpful because it adds extra stability. The shoe's wide enough that for me, like I don't need extra stability or it doesn't feel unstable when I'm wearing these casually and walking around and stuff. So I think that that's just something I wanted to mention. But all in all, this is an incredibly well-built pair of shoes or sneaker boots, if you will, that I definitely think deserves some shine. Again, if you guys are interested in, in copying a pair, check out the Hibbit link in the description. A big shout out again to Hibbit for sending this pair over. It really is kind of a cool pair and one that I'm definitely happy that I tried. In fact, I wanna do like a top five like outdoor or sort of like hiking boot or sneaker boot video. And um, I feel like this shoe is definitely gonna be in like that top five. There's a ton of great options for footwear in that category. And I have a handful of them here and there. So I'll be trying to do that video in the future. But if I do and when I do, you guys will probably see this one in the top five for sure. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and like the video. It means a lot when you guys do that on this channel. And uh, it's fun trying different new things. If you guys have any other suggestions for other products you guys would love to see, uh, then drop a comment as well or hit me up on Twitter or even email me if you feel free. Uh, but, uh, but have a good rest of the day. Appreciate you all for stopping by and hopefully we'll see you back for some more videos. Peace, guys.